Welcome to my Constant Contact tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm gonna showcase two important things that you can do. One is gonna be create a list where you can obviously get your contacts in, and then two is gonna be hike and send a newsletter to that specific email segment. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description. The great thing about Constant Contact is that they come with a free trial, so if you click that link, you'll be able to follow along with me. So. First and foremost, once you get your trial, or maybe if you already have an account, what you wanna do is hover over the contacts, click on it there, and pretty much to get to where I am, you're simply gonna to go to list. So I believe when you first start, it's just gonna show my contacts as it does right here. But what you wanna do, if you wanna create a new list, you can just click right here and do create list. And let's say you wanna give it a name, for example, this one's gonna be Marketing Island. I'm just gonna go with the one I previously have, but I'm gonna use that. Okay, and it says your list doesn't have any contacts. So what you can do if you already have a list, say you're coming from somewhere else, you can obviously import them, you can add them. For this specifically, I just added my own just so I have some for this example. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly go back. And as you can see, I have the two lists right here, okay? So if you did wanna add contacts, you can do it this way if you already have a list, okay? So let's say that's up and running. Maybe you have a couple of obviously leads there on your contact list. What we can do now is send them an email. So what we wanna do here is go to marketing and from there simply go to email. Now keep in mind, this is just gonna be an email that goes out to anyone at this specific time that we're going to send it. You know, it could be a newsletter, it could be a promo, it could be a value video, it could go to another landing page. It's really gonna be up to you, but what you do with it, I wanna at least show you how you can create it. It's pretty simple to do. From here, if you haven't created any, it's gonna show something like this. And what we wanna do is click on create an email right here. All right, and as you can see, there's gonna be a good amount of templates that you can utilize yourself. However, I'm not sure if you've seen any of my other videos. I always prefer using just plain Jane templates as in like nothing on it. I'm not too big on using a lot of pictures. From my testing specifically in many of the years, the more images that you have in your email, the higher the chances are that it's going to be sent to the sin bin, AKA the spam box. So I'm just gonna go with start from scratch. At least this way I can showcase, you know, how you can create your email from scratch. Keep it as plain as possible to help you get the most amount of opens, which is of course what you want. If no one opens your emails, no one's gonna click them. Obviously no sales, no other goals and so on and so forth. Let's click on select here. All right, and you'll notice up at the top here, aside from the fact that I spelled my <laughs> James Q, it was funny when I was typing that and I spelled it wrong, I accidentally added a Q, okay? So this is just gonna be like the name of it. So let's say for example, the goal of this email is going to be sending traffic to a YouTube video that I have, okay? So I'm just gonna call this constant contact landing page, okay? I did a landing page tutorial for them. So as you know, for this example, that's what it's gonna be. Keep in mind, that's not going to be the subject line. If you do wanna change that around, we have right here where it says M Island, um, latest news for you, you don't wanna miss this. This is an example of how it's gonna stick out in the inbox. I like this little preview here, it's nice. So I'd probably change this, it doesn't have to be M Island. I'd probably just use my full first and last name or just Marketing Island. This is gonna be your subject headline and this is gonna be a little bit of extra. So they're gonna see this as well. Call it like the post, subject line so many times what you can do if you have something really enticing you can add a little bit more there like you don't want to miss this i think you're really going to like this this ends in a few days if it does obviously don't say that if it doesn't end but let's click right here just to kind of change this around all right, so we have our subject line. What I'm gonna just do here is landing pages, simplified, you know, you don't wanna miss this. So this is a perfect example, just a little pre-header, a little bit extra, a little bit more to like entice them. And from name, like I'll probably take that away and just do my full name, it's already there, there we go. And something like that. How about need help with landing pages? Check this, something like that, okay? Really, whatever it is, just add that little bit extra. So it's it's almost like your subject line expanded to add a little bit more. Okay, so if you do wanna add some, say, emojis, there are gonna be right here. Sometimes these can really stick out like a sore thumb, and that's a really good thing. I'm just gonna add a plus there, or not a plus, a thumbs up. So really up to you. If you see, if you've ever gone through an inbox and all you see is just, say, text everywhere, and then all you have is just like one emoji here. Can we search? We can't. I was gonna look for like a trophy because I know a trophy sticks out. Anything related to marketing, maybe like money signs, uh, but we'll do something like that. Thumbs up, I think worked very well. Or like this, right? It really sticks out just that little bit extra. So we are very far over. Perfect, gorgeous. Okay, let's click on save. So we have the subject line all done. Okay, so use this space to add text, images, dividers, and more. Be sure to delete this section before sending. So how do we delete this? Very simple. Let's click on it. 
And from there, what you can do is actually just drag on over. It's hidden a little, so you might not be able to see it at first. So there's going to be the trash can, and we have nothing there. Perfect. So how we utilize this is very similar to their landing page builder in case you didn't get to see that actual tutorial I'm talking about here. What we want to do is grab a block here of text. We're just going to drag and drop it right in the middle. And you're going to notice we now have this right here. So I already have an email here ready to go. I quickly put this together with ChatGPT just as an example. I'm not saying it's like the best email in the world. It's quick, it's short, it's simple. It's designed to obviously get the click. If you look at this, it's not a wall of text or anything crazy like that. So I also have the link of where the tutorial is going to be. So I'm going to copy this. So I made a quick video. It takes you through the steps. Check it out here. So what I can do is delete this. And in case you want to see how to add a link, what we're going to do is highlight where it wants to go. And we can go to our link right here. And we want a web page. And I'm just going to paste this in right here. Okay, and that's going to be fine. Check it out here. That's the link, and we'll do insert. Okay, short, simple, effective, no more headaches, just results. Want to see in action? Click here. You'll notice how there's two call to actions here. We can make them even a little bit better if you want. So you can do want to see in action. Check out the link down below. Here's a nice tactic I like using where you use the subject line the same as one of the links. So we have landing pages, simplified. The reason I talk about this is because if someone is prone to say clicking on this, then the chances are higher that they're also going to click on it if it's a link. That's like kind of my uh, explaining behind that. So that's something you can always test out. I know so many little like funky tricks that you can use to help get more clicks, you know, test things out. I just like making this italicized, kind of like a little signature. So not a whole lot going on with the email. Like I said, it's just an example here, right? So we have that. Anything else that you did want to add, for example, let's say you wanted to add an image. Like I said, I'm not huge on images, but if you did, you would drag and drop it in there. You can click on there, and of course, there's going to be replace and so on and so forth. And anytime you add something that you don't want to keep there, you can just click on it and click on the delete right there. Okay, so it is auto-saved. There is the ability to do undo if needed as well. We have read more. We have social shares. We have some action blocks. I'll just kind of show you here. Let's say we wanted to do a divider. That's what a divider looks like. If we click on it, we can change it around where maybe it's going to be dashed or dotted and so on and so forth, but I'm not going to have anything else under there. Let's delete this. And I think you kind of get the idea when it comes to creating an email, right? Pretty simple stuff. Not a whole lot going on here. You're going to be in charge of creating your own email. It's not too bad, I promise, right? And uh, aside from that, you know how to add in your links. Uh, if you just simply click on text that you want to change, if you want to bold something, you can do that right here. If you want to change around the font, the text size, I think it's going to be business as usual. Pretty straightforward, right? So let's click on continue here. All right, so I really like this area here. There's a lot going on, and I think it's actually a pretty a good thing. Okay, so first and foremost, you know how I had you create a list? Like, I think I called it Marketing Island. It's just showcasing this, I believe, because this is the only list that has contacts in it. Once you do have some contacts in there, this is obviously where you're going to be selecting them. Now, if you created multiple lists and you have multiple contacts in each of them, this is where you can check them off. Okay, so... Our email is verified. We have our physical address. And of course, we have our email settings. Again, this was similar, pretty much what we did before. We have our email right here. And if I hover over this, you can see the YouTube link is going to be there. I'm not going to click on it because it's going to play over me. We have our desktop view, which is nice. And of course, we have mobile view. I mean, look at this. This is what I like about this. Have you ever seen emails where you open it up on your mobile and you just got to keep going down and down and down and down and down and down until you get to a link? I like emails like this because they're short, they're straight to the point. It's pretty much just getting the person to say like, hey, are you interested in learning how to build landing pages with constant contact? If they are, the links are going to be there. They can click on them. And then of course, all the value is going to be in the video. That's just this one example. Like I said, I know this email is very simple, but that's the idea here. It doesn't take a genius to read this and understand what's going on. Also, it's formatted very short and choppy. These aren't college essays here. If you've ever once again seen somewhere, say on a forum where someone just does a wall of text, no line breaks, like barely any sentences. It's hard to read and it's more intimidating. So very simple, very straightforward. Now, if you want to schedule for later, you can do that if you want. That's going to be like for upgraded. Obviously, I am using the trial here so you can follow along with me if you are a brand new account. But what you would simply do is simply go to send now as well. You can also do send a test email. 
So you can send yourself a test email, see what your email would look like in your contacts inbox by sending yourself a test. So you can do that. Probably don't need a personal note, but you can just do send a test just to see what it looks like. I'm not going to do that in this example, just because we already know what it looks like. But in case you wanted to do that, just to see how it sticks out to all the other maybe emails in your inbox, you can do that. And the last step is simply going to be send now if you want to do that. And that's going to conclude my constant contact tutorial for beginners. As I talked about in the beginning, two very important things where you can get up and running very quickly is creating your list. And of course, if you want to import some contacts or maybe you're coming from a separate email autoresponder tool, you can obviously add them that way and make sure that you have permission to import them, you know, obviously, hopefully, right? And aside from that, we have the ability to create our emails and send them to the contacts that you have finishing off by clicking on send it now. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you. And of course, if you want to check out Constant Contact, they do come with a free trial. I will leave my link in the description in case you want some easier access. You can click on that and get a free trial with them. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this Constant Contact tutorial and I will see you in my next video.